Hi, my name's Marcus Boyce and welcome to another episode of Lord Splodge Short. Uh, This week we're going to break from the normal routine and have a look at Gantry, a web-based theme framework for both Joomla and WordPress CMS platforms. In this episode, we're just going to look at installing Gantry into your WordPress um, installation. Um, I have a WordPress installation already. It's pretty much a vanilla 3.3.1. So over here we have Gantry, which has lots of features for uh, controlling your themes inside WordPress. Um, It does custom iPhone and iPod Touch theme support. Uh, It uses a 960 grid system and a lot of other stuff. And as you can see, it can lay out some pretty decent looking websites as per their examples. We'll pop over to download. And we're going to want WordPress, but if you use Joomla, uh, your options are also there. Click on the WordPress and you have a package here that will install WordPress plus the Gantry theme plus the framework and some sample data. So if you've got total control of your website and haven't got WordPress installed, this is the one you want. I'm going to download the framework. and the theme. Now OS 10 has gone and unzip them. We need to recompress them because they need to be in a zip format. So we have Gantry which is the actual framework and we have the theme. So what you need to do is pop over to your WordPress installation and we're going to add a new plugin and we want to upload and we're going to choose a file in this case it was in my downloads and gantry.zip and click install So we have the plugin installed successfully. I click activate plugin to make it live. And now we're going to go to appearance themes. We're going to install the theme that comes with it again. Click upload. Choose a file. In this case, it's the, the other zip file. Choose that. Click the install now button. Okay, I'm going to activate the theme. Now down here, you'll notice we've got new options. I'll just dismiss that. And you can get some different presets of layouts at the top here. Just save that. And on the content, you can change lots of different data. Same for style. You can use web fonts and gizmos. And here's where you set the 
iPhone theme. So what we'll do now is we'll just pop over to see what it looks like out of the box. As you can see, pretty plain out of the box. But if you go over to the Gantry website, look on the documentation, it comes with a, a lot of videos that have been made to help you install it and get it to look how you want. Well, that's another episode of Lord Spud Shorts in the can. I'd like to thank you for watching and stay tuned for more screencasts soon.